G'day guys, Cool Science Sticks here. Uh, today I'm just going to run through um, my personal plate carrier setup. Um, again, this is just the way that I run my setup. Um, this isn't something necessarily that you have to do or it's not necessarily the best way to do things or set things up. Um, however, I find this works pretty well for me. Um, you know, might provide uh, you guys at home with a bit of inspiration and that sort of thing. Um, I'll have links to everything um, in the description below um, to you know all the mag pouches and all the accessories and comms and things like that as well. Um, so cool. So to start out, um, this is the JPC 2.0 uh, by Twin Falcons. Um, I purchased this from Loadout Locker. Um, really good quality, um, very, very well made. I've um, had a few pickup games as well as a, uh, I've done a Milsim in this as well. Um, very comfortable, I wore it pretty much the whole weekend. Um, we recently did the Milsim at Toowoomba HQ, um, which was really, really fun. Uh, very wet for the whole whole uh, weekend, but that's just the way that it is. Um, so yeah, this is the JPC 2.0 in Ranger Green. Um, our team or squad that I play in wear Multicam, um, so that's Phoenix Company. Uh, so Multicam's our our designated uniform. Um, so Ranger Green goes pretty well with it. Um, cool. So yeah, I've got the obviously my Phoenix patch as well as my. Um, my call sign patch there. Um, moving down, uh, I just have a generic um, three mag um, mag pouch here with the bungee um, straps on them. Um, I've adjusted these bungees to fit these J10 mags specifically. Um, I even though I run a J9, I run a Gen 9. Um, I, I do like the J10 mags. Um, they just find they hold a little bit more and they actually feed a little bit better. Um, but that's just my own personal experience. Um, so yeah, so you have the mag pouch in multicam. Um, again, goes well with everything. Uh, I have a dead rag as well attached to the front. Um, I believe these are from Milsim East, the village. Um, but again, I'll have the link in the description for these. Um, but this was really good. We had to use one for the Milsim. Um, so yeah, again, that was worked really, really well. Um, you'll also see on the front, I have another um, mag pouch here. This is a fast mag um, pouch from X-Force Tactical. Um, the reason I have this is just so I have another mag that I can quickly change from if I need to. Um, I also run two of these on my belt setup as well, um, one on my left and right side, but I'll um, maybe save that for another another video. Um, moving around, um, I have a, this is actually a tourniquet holder, just a generic um, one that you can purchase on eBay for a couple of bucks. Um, I think I got this for probably five or ten dollars or something. Um, so in here I hold just my, oh, if I can get it out, um, just my Gerber multi-tool. Um, this is great, really handy to have. Um, yeah, so that just lives in there. Uh, I do have some trauma shears as well. And everyone goes, oh, Carter, why are you carrying trauma shears? It's so unnecessary. Um, I'm actually a trained medic uh, and a student paramedic as well. Um, so for me, if I can help somebody in situations um, like at the Milsim, um, as an example, where you know we're a fair way away from anywhere, I can treat and do whatever and move clothes if I have to with these. Um, really handy to have. Can also use them to cut open food packaging, things like that. So that's why I keep them just there um, on my kit. Um, moving further around the side. Um, I have, uh, again, another J10 mag. Um, so I carry a full loadout. Um, so I carry five on my plate carrier, two on my belt and one in. So a full loadout of eight mags all up. Um, so on the side cummerbund here, um, it is the skeletonized cummerbund with the JPC, um, but I've added on this um, elastic M4 um, mag pouch. Um, this is actually really good um, 
because when I don't have anything in here, obviously it, it just folds flat and sits nice and comfortably on my side. Um, but yeah, again, I run another mag. Um, I then run my Baofeng um, UV5R. These are pretty, pretty standard really for most gel ball or airsoft players or, you know, anyone in the civilian world. Um, so you see there's a lot of cables here and I'll kind of move my stuff out of the way. Um, so obviously I have one cable running which runs to my PTT on the front, um, which is the uh, Z Tactical U94 PTT. Um, and then that runs to my Z Tactical HD03 um, headset. Um, again, pretty simple standard sort of comm setup. Um, I really like it. Um, now you see that this doesn't actually have an antenna. Um, I've run a relocation cable um, which is weaved through my cummerbund up to the back of the plate carrier. Um, so it runs through um, up the back and connects to my tactical uh, antenna. Um, again, it doesn't really hinder me or get in the way too much. I can move this how I see fit if I need to. Um, yeah, and I find I get actually a bit better range, especially through those real mountainous terrains, I guess, um, especially when we're playing at Toowoomba. Moving around from that, um, this is the Twin Falcons uh, flat pack, again, um, purchased from Loadout Locker in Ranger Green. Um, in here I hold a 1.5 litre bladder um, with the tubing obviously feeding out and through the shoulder pads to the front. Um, the reason I run the flat pack is I this is can actually expand out. Um, so what I would what I was running in here for the Milsim was um, actually had some medical gear in here. Um, again just stuff that I can kind of use and treat people with if needed. Um, I also had other first aid kits and stuff on my belt setup as well. Um, so yeah, this has just held any extras. I could run, put gels and food and that sort of thing in there. An extra water bottle if I needed to, if, um, if I drank through the bladder. Um, yeah, again, great little um, pouch. Folds nice and flat, so it's not overly, I'll um, show you from the side, it's not, it doesn't stick out too far. Um, so yeah, I, I, I do, do like that. Um, obviously got my, my different patches on here, Phoenix Company, um, so that's the squad that I play with, loadout locker patch, um, again cheers Ryan for uh, attaching those with uh, some of my gear, um, and then my TACMED Australia pouch, um, yeah I'm a bit of a sucker for a good patch so um, that's why we have those on there. So moving around, um, as I said, drinking tube fed through the shoulder into and that just lives down tucked out of the way um, doesn't really get in the way if I'm shouldering my blaster or anything like that so um, yeah it's pretty pretty good I think um, next is on the, my right hand side I've got the tactical tailor um, admin pouch um, again from loadout locker um, in here I just keep um, keep a knife my whistle for attracting attention if if I get lost, God forbid. Um, tape, spare batteries for my um, Baofeng, um, a spare fist mic in case my comm setup goes down for whatever reason. I've got a spare one there. Um, food, snacks, I can keep maps and all sorts um, in there. Um, cool. So yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, Again, I'll leave links to um, to all this in uh, the description below, and um, again, just gives you a bit of a inspiration to you know on how you may want to set up your plate carrier. Um, again, people go, "Wow, this is a lot of stuff that you're carrying." Yes, it is, but is this also works for me? Um, even I've played games at Gorilla with this exact setup, um, and didn't really sort of hinder my performance I think at all. Um, I could still move quite freely 
in and around obstacles and containers and things of that nature. Um, again, if there's anything you feel like I've missed out or stuff that you know you would change, let me know in the comments below. That'd be um, greatly appreciated. And we'll uh, see you next time.